be thankful for what you got because what you have is what someone else would kill for. You gonna learn today. Guys, boost yourself up. Look at you. Just look at you. Go in the mirror and look at yourself. Instead of thinking of all the negative things that you could improve on, instead of complaining, instead of saying this, is, I wish I had better this, I had better that, appreciate what you have. Be thankful. Thankfulness opens the door to more blessings in your life. If you can't be thankful for the car that you're driving, for the body that you have, for the life that you're living right now, how do you expect to be thankful when you're up there, when you got that nice car, when you have those six pack abs, when you do, when you do have the great situ living situation, when you're doing fine for yourself, you know what I'm saying? How do you expect to be thankful when that moment comes? Because you're always gonna be, you're always gonna have something negative to complain about. Be thankful for what you got, because what you have is what someone else would kill for. Be thankful. Look around your room, look around your crib, look at the life situation that you have and boost yourself up. Wake up every day and know that I'm that person. I wake up every day and I, I, I look in the mirror, I'm like, yeah, I'm that nigga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am that. Why? Because I'm so thankful in the situation that I'm standing in. I look down every day at where I'm standing and I know that I am who I am. I accept who I am. You know what I'm saying? And no one else in doing this, in boosting yourself up, no one else can throw you off course. Your validation is yours. You don't rely on Instagram. You don't rely on friends. You don't rely on the chicks that you mess with. That means you're not chasing them because you know that your validation comes from you. Chasing chicks gives you validation from them. You know what I'm saying? That's why most guys chase these women. When you focus on yourself and the validation is all from yourself and you're so self-sufficient and self-fulfilled, other women are gonna sense that. They're gonna say, oh, what's something different? Something's different about his energy. Hmm, they're gonna smell it out the air and come towards you. Because people, fulfilled people, attract people that aren't fulfilled in themselves because they want a piece of what you have. They want you to teach them how to find the treasure treasure that you found called self-sufficiency and enlightenment. Be self-fulfilled. How do you do that? Boost yourself up. You don't need anyone to compliment you. And when the compliments do come, that's nice. Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Good looks. Thank you. Have a good one. You know what I'm saying? Take the compliment and run with it. But know that instead of the compliment being like, oh, really? I didn't know that. Let the compliment be of, I already knew that. I, I, I already knew that for myself. I appreciate it. You don't gotta say it obviously out loud, but you just gotta say, I already knew that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Let the compliments come from you. Boost yourself up because you don't need anyone else to do it for you. You are your biggest fan and you're your harshest critic. You know what I'm saying? We tend to be our harshest critic more than our biggest fan. When you're your harshest critic, there's always something that's not perfect about you. Nobody's perfect. So why are you trying to be? Your goal is to be your best version, not your perfect version. I said your best version, not your perfect version. When you become your best version and you're your harshest critic, there you, you're never gonna be content. And when you're not content, you're never gonna be happy. You have to be content and fulfilled in what you have right now. You have to be content knowing that I got something that some people want. I have something that can take me further. This ambition, this discipline, this drive. And you act on those abilities, act on those traits that you have to push you along the line. When you know that, when you say what you are, you will manifest what you are in your life. Saying you are strong, saying you are disciplined, saying you are your best version. You will manifest that in your life because you will start taking the necessary actions to become what you say you are. So waking up every day and saying, man, I ain't shit. Man, I ain't shit. 
what are you gonna do? Because of that mindset, because of you boost, uh, taking yourself down, tearing yourself down, being your, hard, your harshest critic, you aren't gonna, you ain't gonna be shit. You're gonna be playing the video game all day. You're gonna be eating the pizza all day. You're not gonna be out there. You're not gonna be starting a business. You're, you're not gonna be out there do, on your purpose, going to work, building that money up, investing in your business. You're not gonna be doing shit because you're not shit. When you have the mindset of, yeah, I'm the shit. As cocky and arrogant as that sounds, it doesn't matter. When you have that mindset of, I am the shit, you're gonna do things to bring all the positive and good energy and blessings and fruits of your labor to you. Change your mindset and boost yourself up because no one's gonna do it for you. You can't rely on other people. You were born alone, you will die alone. You will be in that casket alone. The only person that will come in this world and leave is you. Don't be attached to anyone else's validation, to anyone else at all. Because you don't need them. All you need is you. Your validation comes from in here. Everything you got comes from in here. And you'll take action and run at life with a full head of steam. Boost yourself up. Manifest the life that you want to live. And stop playing games. Y'all know what it is. That's the video for today. You got a question? Email me down below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to see y'all soon.